Doctors in San Antonio are seeing more people trying to turn back the clock using minor nips and tucks to try to stay competitive in the workforce. Small business owner Michelle Fallon is looking for a new job as a real estate agent. To reinvent yourself, you know, age is just a number. She hasn't worked full time for a year, but she's done some work on herself. I've had liposuction um, to the abdomen area. I've had rhinoplasty, and but but augmentation. A tune-up, if you will. That's giving her the edge she says is critical to a new career. When you're out there with people and when you're out there, um, you know, presenting yourself, if you have that self-confidence, that person's going to feel that from you. Michelle is one of many San Antonians. My surgery was in November. Who are relying on more than just their resume and experience to find a new job. For instance, if I were going to an interview pre-breast dog, and then post at breast dog, I feel more comfortable now. I feel more confident in myself. No problems. No problem. The Plastic and Cosmetic Center of South Texas has seen a rise in clientele in the past three years. More people are looking to get ahead now that younger carnal parts are coming out of school, which are, quite frankly, cheaper to hire. But creating this new and improved self can cost you anywhere from $300 for Botox to $22,000 for a full body lift. Some people just don't have the credit, so the people in between jobs normally need financing. So we get them financing, and then they're able to move on to hopefully get a job. I've spent well over last year all alone more than $15,000, $20,000. Is it worth it? Oh, absolutely. I'd do it again. Dr. Thomas Genevieve tells us the most popular procedures are breast implants, liposuctions, and tummy tucks. And an interesting note, it's not just the ladies who want work done. 35% of plastic surgery patients nationwide are men. From the studio, Janet Kwok, News 4, WOAI.